Oh, hey guys, you know, uh, yesterday evening, I posted a video um, about a house down on Lower Milford Street. I was assessed at 57,500, had no obvious structural problems, but was on the condemnation list. Um, you know, 57,500 uh, implies a sale price of about 92,000, which is above the median price, probably in about the 65th, 70th percentile of, of home sales in Clarksburg. So not exactly a shack. Uh, I'll so, show you something here. I'll go to this building. Doors ripped clean off of it. Transients are in there. Uh, transients are in there, and the roof is actually has holes in it. Roof is caving in. Uh, I had my sources uh, look at the condemnation demolition list. It's not on it. This property is not on the list. Um, and I, I, I know that there's a lot of properties in town and folks don't know necessarily come up on all the side streets and know about these properties. Uh, mine, so I'm, on, I'm on South 9th Street, uh, just up from uh, around the corner from Horner Avenue. Um, I just keep walking here. It's old uh, Genesis Youth Center. I was back behind me, that building was like the accessory building. But we got the youth center here. Looks about five stories tall in some places. Uh, I think nuns used to have an orphanage in here before that. There's obvious signs of forced entry. Got reports from neighbors that uh, at nighttime, a lot of nights, uh, people are up on the roof partying and drinking, uh, smoking dope, and smoking meth or whatever, you know. Uh, Building is not condemned. But uh, this building back here, it's not condemned. Or it wasn't condemned, it is now. Uh, it caught fire last year. It, it was condemned and placed on the demolition list March 24th because uh, our uh, one of our community activists, Ashley Marinero, made posts about it. And suddenly folks got out here. So when folks not say they don't know about these properties uh, that are uh, always dilapidated and condemned, I could buy that. Except when they were here uh, putting a demo notice on this building, why didn't they just look across the street and see these two structures that are in an obviously bad condition? We're not even demol. This thing's not even on the demolition list. All right, I'll right, show you something. Uh, got it. Got this wall. Uh, this wall back behind me is buckling. It's about to cave in. It's going to take that tree down when it, with it. And when that happens, the tree's going to fall on the power lines and fall on Chestnut Street. And you know, guys, over the last uh, few months, I've, uh, I've had more than one business person tell me they bought a property intending to fix it up, but wanted to start by putting a new roof on it. Uh, before they could even do that, code enforcement rushed out, condemned the structure, and uh, told them they couldn't get a new roof on it until they hired an engineer and proved it was safe. And they do that, and they're told, well, you need a full set of plans uh, drawn up. You know, it's just one thing after another, and by the time they jump through the hoops and then start litigating in court, uh, the two years is up and they'll say where well, all policy is that we de demolish condemned structures after two years, you're out of time. You know, I've, I've taken the planning commissioner training uh, uh, from uh, Michigan State Extension. That just has all kinds of, you know, potentially um, unlawful taking, uh, due process, equal treatment under the law, violations written all over it. But again, takes money to fight City Hall. Um, and you know, why does this happen? Well, I mean, obviously, um, you don't want people to fix a roof if you're wanting to tear the property down because without a roof, the property just deteriorates further and in the public eye, it's easier to demolish the building. And and, and when, when we have a council bragging about how many demolitions they do, and you have candidates saying we need to expand the demolition program uh, and cut the wait time down from two years to one, 
you're you're signaling to code enforcement that they should gin up even more demolitions, whether they're uh, needed or not. What if instead we incentivized uh, development? We need more tax base. We need more residents. Why are we doing this? You know, I, I would I would prefer that the council just drew a line in the sand with the city manager and said, look, if we keep hearing these complaints, uh, uh, you know, it's it's going to come up in your review process. We're making it an item right now. You know, this this has to stop. You're not going to get a raise, or we might not renew your contract. And then he, in turn, would go to the code officials and tell them to knock it off. I mean, and until we see our council draw that kind of line in the sand, they're not really serious about preserving or, or rehabbing buildings. Um, I don't know what else to say, so I'm not going to say any more. I'm going to get out of the rain. I'll talk at you later.